an average human being over 19 years of age generally needs about 600 to 800 units of vitamin D on a daily basis. But too much of a good thing often becomes a bad thing. Vitamin D is essential for your overall health, but if you have an underlying health condition or are taking too much of this vitamin, typically above 4,000 units, then it can lead to vitamin D overdose or toxicity. So what are the signs that show you have overdosed on vitamin D? And what you should do if you suspect that you have vitamin D toxicity? Let's learn in this video. First, let's see what are the most common signs of vitamin D overdosage. Number 1. Weakness or Fatigue If you are feeling too much weakness or symptoms of fatigue too often, and without any obvious reason, then it could mean that you have overdosed on vitamin D. This can be explained in two ways. First, having too much vitamin D in the body can disrupt the process of metabolism. It means that our body may not be able to provide or extract energy from the food that we are eating. Second, vitamin D overdosage can also lead to a condition known as hypercalcemia. Hypercalcemia is a condition when there is too much calcium in the blood. This can happen when the calcium is not getting absorbed by the bones where it is supposed to be. Vitamin D has the ability to enhance the absorption of calcium by the body during digestion, roughly by 20 times. So if you are having too much vitamin D, then you may also have too much calcium in your body, which can lead to hypercalcemia. It shows up in a number of symptoms, including weakness, fatigue, neuropathic pains, and several others. We'll also show you what to do if you notice the symptoms of hypercalcemia. So stay with us till the end. Before we proceed, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our video helpful, then please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. Poor Digestive System Some digestive disorder symptoms like abdominal pain, poor appetite, nausea, vomiting, and sometimes constipation or diarrhea also indicate the presence of too much vitamin D in the body. These problems are also related to the development of hypercalcemia, which can cause inflammation in the gut and intestines, leading to abdominal pain, nausea, or vomiting. Not only this, but high levels of calcium also affect healthy bowel movements, leading to the symptoms of diarrhea or constipation. Hypercalcemia also tends to interfere with the body's normal signaling mechanisms that control hunger, leading to poor digestion or poor appetite. So if you are experiencing something like that, then get yourself checked at once, for it could be a sign that you have overdosed on vitamin D. Number 3. Neurological Symptoms Unexplained headaches or neuropathic pain in bones or muscles are also signs of vitamin D overdosage. Again, this can be due to too much calcium levels in the blood, which tend to interfere with the function of our nerves that trigger muscles. Additionally, high levels of vitamin D in the body can also cause the accumulation of calcium in bones and muscles, which is also known as calcification. High levels of calcium can also lead to the formation of calcifications in the brain, which can contribute to feelings of confusion and headaches. And if that's too severe, then it can also cause life-threatening problems like seizures and coma. Number 4. Kidney Problems Our kidneys are mainly responsible to filter out the unwanted compounds from the blood including extra calcium. But if there is too much calcium in the blood, as in hypercalcemia, it can put extra strain on the kidneys, causing kidney pain or kidney stones. In fact, around 80% of kidney stone cases are because of high calcium concentration in the blood. Too much calcium can also get deposited in kidney tissues, which can significantly contribute to degraded kidney function, kidney stones, and even kidney failure. Number 5 excessive urination, and excessive thirst. The signs of vitamin D toxicity sometimes also show up in the form of excessive urination and excessive thirst. Again, this is connected to degraded kidney function. Our body has a natural tendency to filter out extra minerals with the help of kidneys and excrete them out with the urine. When there is too much calcium in the blood, the kidneys have to draw extra water to flush it out, which can cause excessive urination. And when the body loses too much water, it can cause dehydration and excessive thirst. 
If you let that happen for too long, it can result in more serious outcomes such as kidney stones and other symptoms of dehydration like dizziness and fatigue. So what you should do if you have overdosed on vitamin D? Let's see. Number 1. Cut off vitamin D supplements. Are you taking too many vitamin D supplements? If that's the case, then you should promptly cut them off and go to your health specialist for a detailed checkup and medical advice. Number 2. Are you taking enough vitamin K2? Vitamin K2 facilitates the absorption of calcium by our bones. If you are taking enough vitamin K2 with your diet, then it can significantly reduce the risk of developing hypercalcemia due to vitamin D overdosage. Some of the great sources of vitamin K2 are cheddar cheese, grass-fed butter, organ meats like liver or kidney, and fatty fish, such as salmon or mackerel. But of course, it's not the usual way of treating vitamin D toxicity. You should always seek medical attention to find the root cause. Number 3. Take enough magnesium. Experts have observed that magnesium directly impacts the metabolism of vitamin D itself. Magnesium has the ability to activate a certain enzyme, which is responsible for converting vitamin D into its active form. So if you don't have enough magnesium in your body, this enzyme may not function properly, leading to improper vitamin D metabolism and, consequently, higher levels of vitamin D in the body. Not only this, but magnesium also tends to promote the absorption of calcium by the body. Eventually, this can help reduce the risk of calcium overload and other associated health risks. Number 4. Keep yourself hydrated. Keeping yourself hydrated is another great and easy thing to do. That can reduce your chances of getting affected by hypercalcemia or calcification. Do you know that calcium is one of the major ingredients of kidney stones? It combines with oxalates in the urine to form calcium oxalate that can form crystals in kidney stones. And do you know why doctors often tell us to drink plenty of water? To help prevent kidney stones. Because keeping yourself hydrated helps make the urine dilute and prevents the calcium and oxalates to get together in the first place. Number 5. Reduce your sun exposure. Avoiding sunlight may reduce the levels of vitamin D in the body. It definitely doesn't mean that exposure to sunlight is causing your vitamin D levels to increase too much. However, it can be a minor contributing factor to high vitamin D concentration in your body. Number 6. Address underlying medical conditions. It is also possible that the vitamin D overdose is due to an underlying medical condition, such as hyperparathyroidism. It is a condition in which the parathyroid glands produce too much of a certain hormone, known as parathyroid hormone. This hormone has the ability to convert inactive forms of vitamin D to active forms. Eventually, it can cause vitamin D and calcium levels to rise in the blood, leading to the symptoms of vitamin D overdose and hypercalcemia. Therefore, it's best to get yourself checked in the first place to find the root cause and proper treatment. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.